Today's topic is about an internal parasite. The one I chose is Ostertagia ostertagi. What is Ostertagia? It is also known as the brown stomach worm. Ostertagia ostertagi is one of the nematodes infecting cattle. It is also a cause of annual loss of hundreds of millions of dollars in the cattle industry in the United States. The brown stomach worm is a major production limiting parasite in both young and young adult cattle. Now let's speak about the life cycle of this parasite. The adult nematodes produce eggs in their host. The egg is exiled from the host with their feces and contaminate the pasture. That is when the first stage of larvae hatch from the eggs and will mount two times before entering the third stages. Once the larvae is in the third stage, they can migrate from dung pads to soil and then lastly to moist grass. The larvae can survive up to a full year on the pasture. The infection only occurs when the third stage larvae is consumed with the grass. The larvae completes its life cycle in the gastrointestinal tract of the host. Lastly, copulation occurs and the life cycle starts over. Osterstagia osterstagi can spend part of its parasitic life in hypodyspia, meaning hibernation. This begins in autumn at the temperature drop. The larvae do not emerge until spring to cause damage to the gastrointestinal membranes. Here I have presented an actual image of the life cycle of the parasite Osterstagia. First, we have an adult worm that leaves eggs. The eggs are passed in the feces. Then, we have the eggs embryonate in five or more days. Then we go to the next stage, which is the first stage in feces. Then it converts to the second stage, and then we go to the third stage, where they migrate onto the grass approximately in three weeks. Lastly, we have the cow or any ruminant. They ingest the larvae three, which then develop to larvae four and larvae five. And then lastly, we have the adults of the larvae laying more worms and laying eggs all over again. Now let's talk about the different types of Osterstagi. First we have the first stage. This stage is not as severe but it does occur in young cattle that graze on pastures for the first time when they're in high pasture contamination. This typically happens during summer and fall months in northern areas and winter and spring in southern areas. The larvae are ingested on a daily basis by the young stock on pasture. It takes about three weeks for the larvae to develop into adult worms. The adult worms break out of the gastric glands, which cause substantial damage to the absomosal wall. In mild cases, they reduce growth and production. On the other hand, in severe cases, they can result in diarrhea, rapid weight loss, anemia, and death. Now let's talk about the pre-type 2. This stage affects yearling and adult cattle. This consists of massive accumulation of L4 stage larvae in the wall of the abomasum. This affects particularly beef cattle. Now let's talk about the actual type 2, which is the most severe. Type 2 occurs in 2-3 to three year old cows in late summer and autumn. 
This is a result of the parasites resuming their development to immature adults and leaving gastric glands. This process occurs weeks or even months after they have been ingested. The larvae will continue to grow. The clinical signs are exactly like type 1 and how it gets severe depends on the magnitude of eruptions. In the northern areas, type 2 is often seen in early spring. Now, in southern areas, they are seen during fall. Now, let's talk about pathogens of Ostrostagia. This disease is associated with more than 40,000 developing larvae. The damage caused by the larvae is gastric glands and they're emerging to the last stage. The gastric glands are damaged and the larvae distends the parietal cells replaced by the epithelial cells. The apple muscle pH increases and the bacteria killing effect is completely lost. The mucosa is more permeable and pepsin leaks into circulation. What are the clinical signs? Well, first we have sudden loss of appetite. We also have profuse green watery diarrhea as shown below. We have fecal straining, loss of condition, and multiple white umbilicated nodules from one to two millimeters of diameter. Lastly, let's talk about the preventive measures and the treatment. Well, they come in hand in hand. You will have to give treatments to your cattle in order for this not to happen. The treatments that are commonly used are albendazole, doramectin, eprinomectin, febometel, fenbendazole, ivermectin, moxidectin, netobimin, oxfendazole, and lastly, levamazole. 